following on from last month's discussion about stability in a volatile market, if we then bring that actually to an example um, at the moment, which is the oil prices and freight rates scenario, very, very, both very, very volatile in their dynamics. The oil price obviously has gone from 130 down to sort of 50, now it's recovering. The reduction in that oil price has led to oversupply and over demand and actually the freight rates as a result have gone up in general. How can you predict that? Did ever predict that? Not many predicted that in December 2013. And going forward, you know, for the next few years, do we actually take in a three year time charter or do we remain in 100% spot? Different owners have different opinions, but what we've actually seen recently is going from an 80% spot rate on average to around 50% because they're locking in those earnings. They don't know when it's going to be going down. And so $35,000 a day or $70,000 a day is gonna be a really good um, you know, balance. The freight rate volatility is a problem for everybody within the industry, but for varying degrees, depending on what side you sit, if it's a charterer or a ship owner or a ship finance or a bank or insurance, you know, shipyards, they're all affected, but in various different ways. From a strategic point of view, looking out from the one to five years, but then more importantly, the commercial decisions are really you know, small windows for that two to three months. So if you look at August at the moment, you know, the rates are, you know, it was very high, but they've now had a significant drop on, you know, on the BLCC side. Now, who could predict that and how do you react to that is, is down to your modeling and how quickly you react to the decisions and the factors which you see in front of you. Everybody has different data, collects different data, different insight, different, everybody has different knowledge and different avenues to approach, either brokers or you know, supplying um, different you know, independents. But then actually it's understanding those models of what the assumptions were and then how they've related to your decision thought process. IHS is in a, in a unique position to assist the maritime industry in providing an opinion on the freight rate volatility in the various sectors. Why we can do that is we have really unique and respected data sets in the maritime industry as well as the energy and economics and country and risk. We over have over 1,200 economists across our company which are dedicated to providing unique insight into individual countries and then changing that into an outlook, into that sort of five-year forecast which we've been talking about. So the maritime trade can use this information to bring in a holistic approach to actually give the industry a unique decision. Oh.